Today I'm going to put a few different things I've taught you in the past together uh, to create an effect to make it seem like words are being typed out on a screen. Uh, we're going to be using uh, modules from OS and time. So we're going to be calling a system command and using the sleep command in time. We're also going to be using a for loop. We're going to be using variables that we're going to add to. And we're going to use the length command, if I didn't already say that. And we're going to use the uh, uh, string, we're going to uh, modify a string to cut it to different lengths. So let's get started. Go into our text editor, and we'll just call this type.py. And once again, always start off telling it your system environment. Then we're going to import our modules, and you can import more than one module on a line. You can do it like this import OS, import. Uh, time if you want you don't have to you can do it on the same line import OS comma time so we'll import both of those next I'm gonna set a variable which I'll call X we'll set X equal to welcome to www.filmsbychris.com close the quotations there and then we'll start a, uh, a I said for loop earlier we're gonna use a while loop could use a for loop, but we're gonna use a while loop. Anyway, while, oh, we have to set another variable up here. We're gonna say y equals zero. And we're gonna say while y is less than or equals to, and we're gonna say the length of x, colon to start our loop. Remember to indent here. And we're gonna say, we're going to call a system command OS system and we're just going to call the clear command which will clear our screen each time this loops. Uh, so now we're going to print x bracket colon y close bracket. So we're going to print X from the beginning of X because we didn't put a number there we could put zero here if we wanted but we don't have to so from the beginning of X to the whatever Y is that that character so first we'll print zero the first character then one it will print the first and second character then the second third and fourth character but each time it's doing this it's looping through it's clearing the screen so even though it's actually typing out a new line we don't see that you'll see what I mean in a minute so we print that. Now we don't want it to happen super fast. So now we're going to call time sleep. And then in brackets, we're going to put, I'll put point 0.2. So just under a, a quarter of a second. Think I've done everything I need to do. We will save this. Make it executable with change mod plus X and the name of our file. Then we'll run it dot slash name of our file. Ah, I did forget a line. I know exactly what I didn't do. I didn't add to Y. So Y was constantly being zero. We don't want Y to constantly be zero. We're gonna say Y equals Y plus one. So it's adding one to Y every time. Run it. There we go. Now it looks as though the words are being typed out onto the screen one letter at a time. Or it's actually putting a new line each time, but it's clearing the screen so fast you don't see that. Once again, we'll run it. Welcome to film www.filmsbychris.com uh, so go ahead visit filmsbychris.com there's a lot of really cool videos and tutorials there <laughs> thank you for watching and have a great day